Hi there, this video is here to help you divide fractions by integers. Let's have a quick reminder about fractions. A fraction is a number that represents part of a whole. A fraction has a numerator and a denominator. The denominator tells us how many equal parts the whole is divided into. And the numerator tells us how many of those equal parts we have. In four sevenths, the whole has been split into seven equal parts and we have four of them. An integer is a whole number. So five, 37, 98, and 3,674 are all examples of integers. Let's get started dividing a fraction by an integer. To divide 9 tenths by 3, we start with 9 tenths. We can represent this by splitting the bar model into 10 equal pieces and shading 9 of them. To divide by 3, we need to split the 9 tenths into 3 equal groups. Each of the groups has 3 of the equal pieces in it, so each group is 3 tenths. 9 tenths divided by 3 equals 3 tenths. We can also calculate this by using the inverse. The inverse of division is multiplication, so we will need to multiply fractions. This method can be easier and more accurate when we are dividing some fractions. For example, when we can't divide the numerator by the integer easily. If you need a reminder about how to multiply fractions, you can watch our multiplying fractions video. There are a few steps to the process, so let's work through it together using the same calculation that we've just completed. 9 tenths divided by 3. Firstly, we need to change the integer 3 into its equivalent fraction. 3 is equivalent to 3 wholes or 3 ones, so the denominator needs to be 1 and the numerator is 3. Next, we change the division symbol to a multiplication symbol. Next, we invert, or flip, the second fraction. Now we complete the multiplication, so we begin this by multiplying the numerators to find the numerator of the answer. 9 multiplied by 1 equals 9. Then we multiply the denominators to find the denominator of the answer. 10 multiplied by 3 equals 30. Finally, if needed, we simplify the fraction answer. 9 thirtieths is equivalent to 3 tenths. So 9 tenths divided by 3 equals 3 tenths. Here's a reminder of each step. Pause now if you want to have another look through it. 9 it's your turn. Work through each step to solve these calculations. 2 fifths divided by 4 equals 1 tenth. 8 fifteenths divided by 3 equals 8 forty fifths. 3 eighths divided by 6 equals 1 sixteenth. How did you get on? You can always pause again if you need to take a closer look. Now let's try a challenge question. Tony has 15 eighteenths of a packet of seeds to plant in 6 pots. Write the calculation Tony can use to find out what fraction of the packet to plant in each pot. What fraction of the packet of seeds does each pot have planted in it? Remember to use the steps you have been practising. Pause now while you answer the question. How did you get on? Let's check your answer. Tony needs to calculate 15 eighteenths divided by 6 which equals 15 one hundred and eighths. This can be simplified to 5 thirty sixths. If you want to take a closer look at the steps, pause again. I hope this video has helped you to understand how to divide fractions by integers. If you still need more maths help, we have lots more of these videos on the Twinkle website, so make sure to check them out. Thank you for watching.